Okay, so we talked about my prepper pantry, the mountain house and the canned food out of the garden, and all that kind of stuff, along with organizing using the totes, and the rolling rack. But today I want to talk about my freezer. I got this big box freezer. And we're going to go over how I organize it. So let's get started. All right, let's see what we got. So the whole key to this thing is that I use plastic tubs inside the freezer that organizes everything out and makes it easy to get to whatever you want to get to. So let's just dig through here and see what we got. So just some things on the top, put those aside. Then we got our first layer, right? Starting, let's start over here. Blueberries, hot dogs, sausage, dinners, one key thing I do is when I bring something in from the grocery store in a bag, I take what's in here out of the bag, and that way, when I come in here, I know that this is older than this. Stuff in the bag is newer. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to always go through this first. All right, then over here, we got, these are really good. I just discovered these recently. They come in a bunch of different flavors. It's kind of like the frozen food of Mountain House. You know, we got the Alfredo chicken. But anyway, it's these things are $6 normally, and I got these at half price. So this is three bucks and dinner for two, right there for three bucks. And they're really good. So I bought about 50 of them. They're all jammed in here. All right, so let's just take that out, set it aside. You can see we get down to the next level. Let's keep going across here. There we got country style shredded hash browns. And again, stuff in the bag is newer. Stuff out of the bag goes first. All right, go through a lot of hash browns. Eggs and hash browns probably two or three times a week. All right, set that out of the way. Steaks, the older ones, the newer ones. Chicken, same thing. All right, get that out of here. Ta -da. Oh, bacon, lots of bacon. All right, under that is, uh, you know, frozen different types of cuts of chicken that are already cooked. So you can throw together quick meals. This is the fish bucket. I got all kinds of fish, orange roughy, grouper, all my favorites. I keep a that pretty full. Just rotate through it. And over here, this is everything out of my garden that I freeze. So it's onions, bell peppers, green beans. These are all vacuum sealed. Those will last, I don't know, a couple of years probably. I don't know. I haven't, haven't hit the end on it yet. Whew, man, that's cold. All right, so then here, more of these. Slide this over. Butter, heirloom seeds. This is a little bit of a seed bank I got going on here. Look at all those seeds. This is stuff that I planted last year. I'll probably take these out of here, put them in the fridge for a week, and then they'll go on the ground in about three weeks. Strikers, Blue Lakes. Whew, that's cold. That's an experiment. I just took those, picked them, and just put them in a thing and see if they'll grow. More seeds. Okay, so basically, just put it back together. Super easy. And it keeps, you can really keep an idea of what you have. That's the most important thing, so you don't throw stuff away. It's like, you know, I know exactly how much stuff I got and when I need to buy some more. I've got lots of space right here. I'm going to go to the store and pick up about 30 more of these things, right? So I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.